<laughs> it's like you're scheming and planning and plotting some easy. Probably roast you a bunch. Because we're both going to his concert. <laughs> Katie got a cool costume for for college. Here's the plane we were just on. See it right there? We're not in Baltimore. We had to get off the plane, you guys. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. Just returned from church and everybody is famous. You guys, it almost yeah, is like sure you did. planned your outfits together because you all match. You know that? Perfect. Maybe I should get a picture of the three of you handsome men together. Fair enough, I, that's too much jelly. I think I might do it. You oh, want more? You want more? No, you just wasted you all the jelly. Put it back. Oh, Yesterday, Dad terrible. went, Mike went and bought this really good, right? It's a good thing that it's not your sandwich. That's awesome. Oh. You're, it's gonna drip. It's gonna drip. <laughs> nothing is good. There's nothing good about dripping jelly. Hi, uh, Kate. I disagree. You like jelly? Look, a lot of jelly? That was a bad cut, too. You should have done a high base. Oh, Brandon, eat your sandwich whatever way you want to, love. Uh, <laughs> okay. You want to do it wrong. <laughs> Alright, you guys. It's like day four with Dad's new mustache. How do you feel about that? I feel like evil. It. <laughs> it's like you're scheming and planning and plotting some evil something or others. I'm not sure what. Ryan, what are you doing over here? Uh, mom said she wanted a waffle with an egg on top. And I requested. I, I, I didn't what say, you like... Give me a waffle with an egg on top. That is exactly not how... I'm not going to eat this week. And I said, <laughs> okay, okay, fine. Fine, that is not okay. how it went down, but um, what she said. <laughs> so therefore, Ryan is making me waffles. Are we doing Mickey waffles or are we doing little waffles? Mickey Mouse waffles, nothing better. Okay, whoa. All right, we're going to try to have a family workout day today, but Katie has ruined it. She's going to it's the beach. It's a family workout fest. It is going to be a family workout fest without Ka minus Katie. What? Well, I guess she's going to the beach with her friend. What happened to your phone? Oh, I took the the cover off, and you can see it's all cracked in the back. I need a new phone. Huh? Yeah. Uh, mm. Let me just replace the back. It's like decorations. I could replace like decorations. Yeah, it looks like decorations. Oh, okay. Thank yeah. you. Look at Dad's phone. Oh my gosh, Katie. I can't really see. Uh, Would you like to share what your workout routine is? I don't have a workout routine. Everyone's like, "Oh, Katie, what's your workout routine?" I literally don't have one. Like, I go every day. No one asked for that. People ask all the time. Bro, go look at my TikTok comments, bro. Oh, wow. Mm. They want, they want, they, they want, want her workouts? All right, so Katie. They want her workouts? Woo! So what do you do? They want, they want. I literally make it up. Okay. Every day. When you're there or before you go? Uh, when I'm there. What you do yesterday? Because I always, I always start, I do, okay, every See. time I go to the gym, I do 30 minutes of cardio and abs. And then everything else is either like, Back and by, chest and thighs, leg, shoulders, the end of the day. So I don't do like a push bowl type thing. I just like make it up. So. And do you use free weights or do you use body weight? What do you use? I don't use body weight. I use like free weights. And that little machine that is at the gym that we have. I don't what? know what it's called though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's the machine that, because it's like the only machine there. Oh, okay. What's it called, Brennan? What's it called, Brennan? Cables and stuff. <laughs> wow. Listen, if you're thinking about like mirroring your workout routine after ours, don't. don't. Because yeah, yeah. Literally, like, Brennan calls it cables and stuff. We all just make it up. I mean, yeah. it has like eight things. That was like a push and pull. This is Brennan or Ryan's workout. Ryan's, Ryan's, what's your mom workout routine? Eating breakfast before you prepare his breakfast. All right, That's right. And that's exactly right. He's going to have a little cereal. Love you. Bye. 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 Yeah. Brennan, do, what do you do? So I do fat side, I do some cardio and abs. So I just do like 15 minutes on the bike and then a set of either, I kind of mix it up every time. It's either mm -hmm. back and buys or arms or chest and tries. And we'll figure, we'll fit shoulders in there somehow. And then I try and do a bunch of push ups every time I work out. Ah, very good. Mm -hmm. So you're always getting this up here. At least 100 push-ups, yeah. Wow, that's good. Ryan is really doing a great job in his workout. <laughs>
All right, we're back from our workouts. Well, Brennan and me, Ryan, hanging out with your girlfriend. Cool. And a little, a uh, little more food. Ryan just had breakfast, and now he's having sort of a breakfast lunch. We'll call it brunch. Watching the Orioles game. I love that these two share the love of the Orioles, and they share the love of the Chargers, and they share the love of Man City. Is there any team you disagree on? No. Well, I'm more of I'm a Navy fan before I'm a Seminoles fan. Oh but wow. Still like the Seminoles, but he's a Seminoles fan before he's a Navy fan. Yeah. We both we love both teams. Right. But you know. Sure. I'm a fan of Navy. Well, That's for player. now, huh? They don't play each other. Right. So. But they did get in a, de a debate the other day um, about would you rather have. The Seminoles at Florida State, where he goes to school, would you rather have Florida State win a national football title, or would you rather have the Chargers win a Super Bowl? And this caused quite a debate. Brennan said... I said Seminoles while I'm at school. Yeah. But if I graduate, then it's the Chargers. So, and it's a two-tier question. And Ryan got all mad at that. No, I think it's last year. <laughs> he... He thinks the Chargers, everybody should be happier about the Chargers. But wait, if you end up going to Florida State, Ryan, I think you're going to change no. a little bit. You don't think so? Brendan, I also think that winning a national championship, even after you graduate, it's kind of a big deal. Because you'll be going to games, regardless. Yeah. Why are we looking at the Chargers Super Bowl like it's not the biggest thing ever? Well, it's huge. See, he's still mad. All right, you guys, football season is just around the corner, although baseball is uh, heating up here. Comment down below who you root for for football. Do you like college football better or do you like NFL football better? And who you root for? We'd love to hear. Yeah, if you want to argue with me, beat on uh, TV official on Twitter. Um, Brennan M. Downley on Instagram. Feel free. I love to uh, hear your sports takes. I'll, uh, I'll probably roast you, but you know, I'm open. <laughs> I've, I've been having a pretty good sports year so far. Thank goodness. Yes, you have. After the Chargers. January. Yeah, yeah, from February on, I've had a good sports year. Mm -hmm. That's true. Between soccer and baseball. Um, so, you guys, yeah, if you uh, want to uh, make hay with uh, Brennan online, he will absolutely get back to you and you guys can debate. Be good. He'd love to hear it. Twitter's my most successful. Hey, guys. <laughs> Me and Cam went to the beach and then went to Kilwins and we got ice cream. And if you've been an OG from the beginning, you know that we love Kilwins. And Maryland. We, and we always wear Buckies there. Yes. And the first time Cam wore Buckies, then I wore Buckies, and Cam wore Buckies. And every time I put the same picture on my Instagram story. So if you guys notice that I do the same picture every time where Cam is holding a water bottle on my head, that's what that is. Yes. Um, yeah, we hit up a. Oh, we're talking about the sand dollars. So, okay, in Sarasota, we've been going to the beach, and I went the other day and found so many sand dollars. They just chill in the sand. And today I, I we found lot. like 30. I'd say more I say than that. Like 40. We found 40. 40 sand dollars. They're so cute and baby. There's like, they're all different sizes. Some of them have been like stepped on by accidents. They're like growing back in little pieces. And they're so fun. And they have these little like kind signs of, yeah. that like move. And they're so fun. And little baby crabs live on them. Yes, they're so cute. Um, what else? But we're also wondering how they re populate. Yes, how do they reproduce? And like, do they have brains? Because, I mean, like, organs. They have brains. Like, they're living, but. I'm sure they have organs, but like, what's their like central? Like, do they have feelings? Like, do they fall in love? Do they. So that's yeah. the question of the day. So we're gonna figure that out. Um, we're going home right now. We're blasting Noah Khan because we're both going to his concert. Look at the new bips. The boys got new bips. For those of you who don't speak Ryan and Brennan, apparently a bip is a haircut. Very nice. Let's take a look. Got chopped up. Ryan, you really didn't get that much taken off. I got a lot taken off the sides. Really? Yeah. Okay. Did they do the little shavy shave thing like they did last time? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Yeah? And Brennan, you got a number two around the sides, a little longer in the back. Tell us what you did. I just didn't cut the back. I didn't. I didn't glow it in the back. I just did, didn't cut the back, and then uh, a little two on the side guy, a little blended top two on the tech. <laughs> two on the side guy, a little blended. Got a little haircut, God. Okay. <laughs> Dude.
Dang, you're just gonna turn off the air like that? Girl? I am because it's hard to hear. All right, yeah, you guys, I'm gonna stop to, filming. It's hard because... to be alive right now. Okay, it is 90. Wait, where does it say? 98 degrees. Feels it like 106. Feels like so, so I'm gonna stop filming and turn this the air place back is on. This just preposterous, man. These are. Uh... Maryland could never. Oh, Maryland is probably the same. I'll yeah, let you know. Nope. Katie got a cool costume for for college. <laughs> She's very excited about it. I'm gonna cry. This is too good. <laughs> what the heck? Can you see out of it? Wait, what's it for? <laughs> Probably not a competition, but it is, and I'm not. Okay. How was the beach? Was it beautiful, it was you guys? We found like 40 sand so many sand dollars. Oh no way! You did? I've never gotten a sand dollar at the There's beach before. There's so many at the beach right now. Like in the water? Mm -hmm. Oh like my like gosh! This is, this is just a picture of the ones that we found. Stop it! But, like we found way more after this. This is just the originals. So did you put them back? Or did you keep them? No, wait. You can't keep them. Yeah, because they're not. They're still it. alive, right? Oh. That is great. And so then we were so back in the water. Beautiful. And so many people were oh taking gosh. pictures of them. Oh, that's so cool. I want to go. Maybe I'll go on Tuesday. Hopefully they're still there. But we were next to some other people. This is that... a cute picture. Okay, yeah, you should post that. Um, what was I going to say? You were next to some like, people? There was like a group of three older people in the water next to us, and they saw us like collecting them. And they started collecting them too, and they were talking about going home and bleaching them. But it's illegal to do. Do you tell them? Do you tell them not to do that? No, but they were talking about us. They were talking about like, no, but, but tell them, them. Tell them they can't oh, do that. It's illegal. Yeah. Well, it should be because you're like killing them. Yeah. Right, because they're still alive when they're that color. They're still alive. Respect the ocean. Are right, you guys tonight for dinner? I'm making, and let me get this right. Skillet butter garlic chicken with orzo. I think that's what it's called. It's from Half Baked Harvest and I love this recipe. And it has um, honey and Dijon mustard, cayenne seasoning, olive oil. I'm gonna put some chicken thighs in there, mix that up, fry them up, and then I bake them with mozzarella cheese. And then I put some scallions and zucchini in and I mix in the orzo. So I will show you the finished product, but we are done. All right, the boys are playing golf. I was making dinner. They said they'll stop in at hole number five. I literally just put the dinner on the table, you guys. That couldn't have been really? more perfect timing. <laughs> Who's with Bro, Dad, I'm seven strokes back. Whoa! Oh I'm not even that bad. Good job, Brennan. Whoa. But he's just, what? Brennan's just. Brennan's just turning up, but it's rude to say that to someone because then it reverses it. Oh, okay. We want to say that loud. Okay. That, so yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it. Yeah. Say it to you him. Jinx. Right. All right. So this is the meal, you guys. This is what it ended up looking like. Yeah. Wow. Uh, this is garlic chicken with orzo and chili, something, something. Yes, you may. Thank like you. A, it's a golf dinner. It's a golf yes, dinner. Yes, that's fair. It's a golf dinner. Screw it up. All right, we have to eat quickly though, you guys, because Katie and I are headed to the airport. We'll tell you a little bit more about that later. And you guys have to go in the course. Look at they pulled their golf cart uh, right up there. All right, here we go. I'll help you guys. Thank you. All right, that was like a 10 minute dinner. We did a pretty good job on this. Katie wrapped hers up to take with her in the car because our flight takes off in 50 minutes. Five zero, time for us to go. So now we're all simultaneously dispersing. <laughs> Me and Ryan are going back out to finish our golf. You guys are going to the airport. The airport. We gotta go. Yeah, let's go. Gas taking you. Fit it all in. What is it? What was my friend Paul say? 25 pounds of flour and a 20 pound sack. Let's do it. Here they go. Bye guys. Yeah. Bye Alice. We'll be back tomorrow. Everybody, oh hi Eddie. Your, your dinner's in there, Ed. Alice already ate. Now it's our turn. Airport bound. Thank you, Mikey Mike. Wow. <laughs> We're bringing this so I can put my TV in it from home. <laughs> bye baby, love you. See you tomorrow. Mwah. Love you. Love you too. Thanks for driving us. Of course. We made it in line and now we've got to wait. Now we're waiting. I'm like, no, this is such a waste of time. <laughs> we could have eaten dinner longer. <laughs> Get out of dessert. All right, you guys, I will say this. It is a whole different flying experience flying when you are just about to be a flight attendant. 
So I, like, I know all the PAs they're gonna say. I just checked under my seat to make sure there was a life vest under there. <laughs> I would have never done that before. Like, I kind of know all the stuff, but there's so much more I'm gonna learn in training. I cannot wait. I'm so incredibly excited to become a flight attendant. And I have to say that being on this flight, like, this probably goes. I'll, I'll fly up to Baltimore today and then back tomorrow, and it's my last flight before I actually fly to training. So I'm so excited. Ooh, I'm checking everybody's shoes too, and what, they, what kind of shoes they wear, because that's kind of a big deal. Figuring out what kind of shoes you want to wear. You're not even paying attention to me, Katie. Good afternoon. Welcome aboard to Southwest Airlines Flight 123 Service to Baltimore. Today, more than ever, we thank you for choosing to fly with us. Here's the plane we were just on. See it right there. We're not in Baltimore, we had to get off the plane, you guys. <laughs> Literally like right after we filmed last time, the captain comes on and he's like, um, this is your captain speaking. There is a ground stop in Baltimore and they can't give us any information on when we're going to be able to land in Baltimore. It's actually indefinite. So instead of sitting on this hot plane, we're gonna deplane everybody. And then when we know more information, then we'll put you back on the plane and go to Baltimore. So we went to Starbucks, got a drink. <laughs> We're sitting over by the window now because it's kind of full in the airport. But actually, I'm kind of happy that we got off because it's a little bit more movie around out here. I want some candy. <laughs> well, then let's go. I asked you at Starbucks if you wanted candy. Well, Starbucks candy is way more expensive than like normal candy. We could have Dad bring us some candy. Should to we? Walmart. <laughs> we have him bring us like coming out. Let's have him bring Brian and some cards. <laughs> that is a great idea. It's a fantastic idea. Maybe we will. All right, so stay tuned to find out what happens next. All right, situation has changed. Now it's about seven, I don't even know what time it is, but they said they're gonna board the flight now in about um, five minutes. So it looks like we're gonna get there right after I got a text that said the flight might be canceled. <laughs> so, okay, so I am gonna be walking into, I know like being a flight attendant, I've always wanted to do it. I think it's gonna be a great job. I'm gonna love it and love the challenge and love the new learning and love like this kind of situation. Like I'm pretty good in stressful situations like this. But I have a feeling this kind of thing might happen more often than not. Um, not necessarily with Southwest, but just in general, flying. But um, they're handling it very well and looking forward to uh, getting to Baltimore. Take two. Kate's busily trying to get a TikTok up before we take off. So it actually afforded her uh, a nice amount of time to do that. Anyway, in the meantime, enjoy your flight. As we circled a bunch of times. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. It, was, it was like 50 Sorry. extra minutes. Like. We did a great job. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Bye. We circled a bunch of extra times. I'll put the picture in here. It's quite funny. Yeah, I'll show the screenshot. But the pilot did a great job landing us. And we are here.